Welcome back to English 4.0, the radio show. Let's go! Advanced. Welcome, welcome back to Advanced Class 29. Yes, Advanced Class 29, moving right along through the material here. And... We were finishing up, the, in the last class, we were talking about the third conditional. We've been talking about that for a while. And we saw some questions in the third conditional. So I'm going to do this in the, instead of focusing on the, uh, uh, well, the, the, the approach with the translation that we had on, on television, I'm going to focus on asking, telling you to ask me certain structures, to, because what's important here is is the word order changes, right? So developing this a good agility with changing the word order. So for example, ask me if there would have been snow if it hadn't been so cold. Ask me if there would have been snow if it hadn't been so cold. Would there, so the question, would there have been snow if it hadn't been so cold? Would there have been snow if it hadn't been so cold? No, there wouldn't have been snow if it hadn't been so cold. Ask me if I would have bought the CD if I hadn't liked the music. Would you have bought the CD if you hadn't liked the music? Would you have bought the CD if you hadn't liked the music? No. No, I wouldn't have bought the CD if I hadn't liked the music. The only reason I bought it was because I liked the music. I wouldn't have bought the CD if I hadn't liked the music. Ask me if she would have fixed it if it hadn't been broken. Would she have fixed it if it hadn't been broken? Would she have fixed it if it hadn't been broken? Hmm. Okay, let's try. Uh, let's try a little bit of translation very quickly. ¿Qué habrías hecho si yo no me hubiera presentado? I think I think I read the same sentence yesterday. So you should master this one. You should know this one. ¿Qué habrías hecho si yo no me hubiera presentado? What would you have done if I hadn't hmm, presentado? How do you say that? Presenta if I hadn't shown up, to show up, to appear. We also have to tur the phrasal verb to turn up, to show up or to turn up. So what would you have done if I hadn't turned up? What would you have done if I hadn't shown up, right, with the participle? What would you have done? I don't know. I would have listened to the radio. Any would you have listened to the radio if I hadn't shown up to do this show? Would you have listened to the radio anyway? Yes, would you? I hope so. Because all the other hosts are great as well, right? Of course, of course. Okay, now, uh, let's move on. I promised, I made you a promise at the end of last class, you may recall, because I was running out of time, and our technicians were looking at me and saying, Kyle, we have, you have to finish. We're running out of time. We're running out of time, they were saying. And I said, I know, I know, give me two more minutes. But no, we were out of time. So I had to talk about this expression, quedarse en blanco. Quedarse en blanco, which is in English to go blank, to go blank. So I'm trying to think of something. There was something important I wanted to say, but I can't remember what it was. What was it? I'm, I'm going blank. I think I've gone blank. So when did, when did you last go blank? When did you last go blank? Did you go blank last week? Okay. Did you, did you go blank last week? I went blank last week. I went blank, I, I went blank three weeks ago. I went blank three weeks ago. My brother went blank in a very important meeting once. He went blank. He said it was kind of a funny experience afterwards, but at the time it was quite stressful. Hmm. So, oh, I'm sorry. What, what was I saying? I think I've gone blank. I can't even remember what I was saying. I think I've gone blank. Ask me when I last went blank. 
Kyle, when did you last go blank? Well, I last went blank just, just two minutes ago. So to go blank, quedarse en blanco. Sometimes we say, I forgot, I forgot what I was saying. I can't even remember what I was saying. I went blank. I forgot what I was saying. Okay? All right, let's move on. Let's move on to the next segment. What have we got here? Oh, oh yes. It's time for... Expression of the Day. Yes, that's right. It's time for the Expression of the Day. The Expression of the Day. I love this one. This is one of my, this is one of my favorites that I've seen so far. The expression is, Say when. Say when. Now, you, we use this in English when we're, when we're talking about when we're filling a glass. So if someone, if someone offers you some beer and they start to pour beer into your glass, they'll say, say when, say when. And if you, meaning, meaning they're expecting you to say, stop. Okay, okay, that's enough. That's enough for you to stop filling the glass. But if you don't say anything, they'll fill it all the way to the top. So they'll start to pour, and they'll look at you, and they'll say, say when, say when. And this means, tell me when you want me to stop pouring your drink. This is a great one. If you go out with a native English speaker, and you're offering him a drink at a business lunch or something, you start to pour him a drink and look at, look, look at him and say, say when. And he'll, I promise you, he'll be impressed with your English. This is something I've never heard any of my students ever use. I don't know if I've ever heard a Spanish person say this. This is an extremely native expression. Say when. When, they, when you're, you're asking a person when you want them or when they want you to stop when they're pouring you a drink. So say when. Say when. Okay? Say when. That's our expression of the day, and it's a good one. So try to use that one next time you're out with some foreigners on the town. You can impress them with that one. Okay, now we have another interesting and very, very important structure. Not as much. Not as much time. So we have less being the same as not as much. I have less time than I used to have. I don't have as much time as I used to have. Right? According to the teach, uh, excuse me, according to the student guide, Spaniards are less patient than the English. Spaniards aren't as patient as. They aren't as patient as. So we have the structure not as much, and we also not as whatever, as. Not as patient as. Not as adjective as. Okay? I'm not as patient as I used to be. Hmm. So if I say Almeria has less water than Asturias, you could say Almeria doesn't have as much water as Asturias. Right? Is that true? Yes, it is. Almeria doesn't have as much water as Asturias. Hamilton, Lewis Hamilton, is slower than Alonso. For example. For a grammatical example, which may or may not be accurate. <laughs> Hamilton is slower than Alonso. I think it's true. I think it all depends on the car, doesn't it? I don't know. What do you think, Nacho? It depends on the car? <laughs> okay. Okay. So for a grammatical example, Hamilton is slower than Alonso. I don't know the, the true answer, but okay. So the alternative sentence would be, Hamilton is not as fast as Alonso. He's not as fast as Alonso. There's less ice in Egypt than in Finland. That's a fact, folks. That is a fact. There's less ice in Egypt than in Finland. There's not as much ice in Egypt as in Finland. Okay, so I'm going to keep giving you one sentence and give me the equivalent. There's less sand in Luxembourg than in Syria. There's not as much sand in Luxembourg as in Syria. Absolutely. I ate less pie than I thought I would. It's true. I thought I was planning and hoping to eat a lot of pie, but I ate less pie than I thought I would. So I didn't eat as much pie as I thought I would. I didn't eat as much pie as I thought I would. I thought I would eat more. 
I didn't eat as much as I thought I would. I have less free time than my mother. Mm-hmm. Well, my mother's busy, too, but I have less free time than my mother. I don't have, so at home, out loud, I don't have as much free time as my mother. I eat less fish than my parents. I don't eat as much fish as my parents. Hmm. It took me longer than I thought it would. Yes, it took me longer than I thought it would. So here, it wasn't as fast, or I couldn't do it as fast as I thought I could. Hmm. She ordered less than I expected. She ordered less than I expected. She didn't order as much. She did order as much as I thought she would. Spain has less fresh water than Canada. Fresh water, we say. You say agua dulce. We say fresh water. Spain has less fresh water than Canada. So there's not as much fresh water in Spain as in Canada. Or there is. There is less fresh water in Spain than in Canada. Spain has less fresh water. So Spain doesn't have as much fresh water as Canada. Flemish. The Flemish language. Flemish, I promise you, is less important than English. Flemish is, at home, Flemish is not as important as English. I have less milk in my refrigerator than I did last night. I don't have as much milk in my refrigerator as I did last night. I don't have as much milk in my refrigerator as I did last night. So the not as much. There is not as much. There's less. I have less. If I say there is less, there's less milk in my refrigerator than, I, than there was last night. There's not as much milk in my refrigerator as there was last night. Very good. Vocabulary of the day. Yes, it is time for our vocabulary, our five words of vocabulary for the day. Modo de vivir. Ooh, yes. Way of life. Way of life. Mm hmm. So after Columbus landed in America, the way of life for those natives changed substantially, right? It sure did. It really changed. The way of life changed. The way of life now is very different from the way of life of my grandparents mm, and of your grandparents. Relacionado. Related. 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 Reaccionar. To react. How did he react? How did he react? What was his reaction? The noun. A, a reaction. Guisantes. Oh, yes, I like these. Peas. 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 Justificar. To justify. To justify. Can you justify your behavior? The verb to justify. All right. Now we're going to follow, we're going to go ahead with a similar activity, very similar to what we just saw. But now we're going to practice. We're going to practice changing it back the other way. Now, so we have this not as much structure and the less structure. But I would say that the not, not as much is much more common. It's more common for us uh, native speakers to say not as much. There's not as much sand in Canada as there is in Egypt. It's much more common for us to say that than for us to say there is less sand. Okay? But here we're going to practice to develop a perfect agility with both these structures. I want to practice changing not as much back to less. So I didn't spend as much money as I thought I would. And you could say I spent less money than... It's important, than. I spent less money than I thought I would. I don't know as much about South American history as David does. I know less about South American history than David does. Yes, David knows a lot about South American history. Sure. I didn't, I didn't eat as much as I thought I would. 
It's true, I didn't eat as much as I thought I would. I ate less than I thought I would. There isn't as much olive oil in Germany as there is in Spain. There's less olive oil in Germany than there is in Spain. I didn't use as much ink as I thought I would. I used less ink. That's right. I used less ink than I thought I would. We didn't have as much time as they did. We had less time than they did. So then, okay? Less than. Not as much as, 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 not as much as, or less than, okay? I don't know as much about Irish history as Fitz does. This is true. I know less about Irish history than Fitz does. There isn't as much sunlight here as there is there. There is less sunlight here than there is there. Hmm. I don't know as much about classical music as Richard Brown does. This is true. I know less about classical music than Richard Brown does. Absolutely. She doesn't know as much about New York City as Alberto does. She knows less about New York City than Alberto does. No one around here knows as much about ice hockey as I do. Hockey sobre yellow. It's my favorite sport. Nobody, or well, everyone, you could say everyone knows less about hockey than I do. I consider myself a local expert. <laughs> we didn't use as much as I expected. We used less than I expected. And one more. We didn't have as much trouble as they did. We had less trouble than they did. All right, great job, folks. We are completely out of time. Thank you so much for joining me. We'll be back tomorrow with more. Stay tuned, keep listening, and keep studying. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>